right, so this is the clove hitch. Uh, real quick lesson on the semantics of it. A hitch is only, as a type of knot, that only stays together if it's tied to something, where a knot can be independent. So with this, I have it hitched on. If I take it off where it's attached to, it falls apart again. That's a big thing about what a hitch is. <laughs> so clove hitch is really useful as long as whatever you're tying it to doesn't twist. It's actually as good as tying a knot. So as long as this stays stationary and I only pull from one direction, one clove hitch is more than enough to support you for the full strength of the rope. So this is what we're going to use for almost all of our friction fires other than the, the um, fire roll. So two ways to tie it. One is off the stand again and the other is off a of bite, which is if you don't have access to the ends. So first way, off the stand again, you're going to go over and you can either go to the left or the right of your rope, it doesn't matter, just remember which direction you went. It's gonna cross over to the other side, so you get that, and then this comes up on the opposite side and goes underneath. So you get kind of a metallic looking H. So bring it together and tighten it. So what you want is you want two parallel lines that come off like this with the crossover. If you needed to add more, which is what I recommend for the top part of the hand drill, you go off to the whatever direction you're on. I'm gonna go that direction again, leave the loop, and push it under. And then I have another one. If I wanted to go this way, I would open up the loop and pull it under like this. Sorry, everyone. So, the other way, is to tie it off a bite. You need to learn both because sometimes if you don't have access to the ends of the stick, you have to tie it off the standing end. If you don't have access to the end of the rope, you have to tie it off the bite. So this, I'm going to push the loop, or a bite, and flip it over. Left over right, right over left, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make another one, and I'm gonna push it over the same direction. So now I have two loops that the ends come off opposite sides. I'm going to twist and push them over like that so I get the H shaped like that. Alright, one more time. I'm going to push up one side over the other, push another one up, and it goes over the same way. Quick thing, if you don't crisscross and go over so these two ends make the X in the center and you just go like that, you might think it's right, but when you tie it on oops, you end up just with a coil. And nothing happens. So, twist, twist, up, and then stack on top. 